Set. French got a shove on, but Canadians managed to whip it out the back door quickly enough, and Nathan Hiriyama, the fly half, kick long, but it'll be brought back at pace by Scott Spedick, and finds Remy Grosso, winger on his debut, into the squad because of Johan Uge's injury in that opening game. Bernard Leroux wearing seven for France this evening, just helping with his way. Wonderful from Michelin. The twinkling feet, the ball outside to Fafana, the strength and the determination. France at their absolute best. Just beautiful, Freddy Michelac. Just a nightmare to defend, they know he's coming. They know the sort of skills he has on his feet, the range of passing. You cannot stand off this guy. Shakes himself free. Feeds for Fafana, who does the rest with leg drive. Canadians have got the numbers, that's poor defence, frankly, but Michelac just, he just holds you long enough. He's just almost so scary on his feet, you don't want to commit too hard. Nightmare for Wooldridge. Straight through the big arms of the tight head prop. That should never happen. Especially not when you're fresh and you've got no scrums in your legs. Fafana nearly caught, but does enough. Worrying signs, four minutes in, Nick. Fastest time out this World Cup. Three and a half minutes, precisely. It took for Wesley Fafana to dive over, but what about the input of that man? He turns 33 in a couple of weeks. So many who would have thought that Michelac's test career was over not so long ago, but he's... He's like Benjamin Button, and here he is, sizing up the conversion. He needs just one more point to overtake Thierry Lacroix's French World Cup points haul, but the majority of that score went to Wesley Fafana. Yeah, Michael Waldridge missing that tackle. Pretty ugly stuff. They'll need to tighten that up.